Ooh, yeah. Bro, I love it. I love it. Yes. I did not think we were going to get anything like this in this show, and this is getting me very excited right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are watching Free Run Episode 8. And uh, the last episode, we got to see Free Run encounter some demons, and she had some very strong opinions about them. Uh, very interesting how she interacts with demons in this show. Uh, literally no remorse. She hates them and she knows that they are dangerous uh, and she kills on sight, usually. <laughs> so uh, let's check out this episode and see where we go from here. <laughs> Free Ren, her her confidence, she, you can tell, you can absolutely tell she's been dealing with demons for a while. You gotta remember, guys, she's been alive for a thousand years, over a thousand years. She has certainly seen her fair share of demons and almost certainly dealt with quite a few of them throughout her just general adventures. This kid's naive, and, and, and chances are back when Freeburn was dealing with them, they were probably significantly more ruthless and less civilized than the ones that she sees today. Oh, okay. I... I'm not gonna lie. Look, Freerun, she's super cute. She's super adorable, little elf girl, or whatever. She, you know, she's a little deadpan and stuff. She's just kind of got this personality that you gravitate towards. But I really, I really like Freerun the Slayer. Oh my God. Yes, this ruthlessness right here, when it comes to demons, something about it, man. <laughs> something about it. Yeah, he was looking at the only threat in the area. His eyes was focused on the only thing in the area that could possibly cause him a threat. Those guards ain't a threat to him. Nobody in this town is a threat to him. Free Red? He knew. He like, yeah, <laughs> that's dangerous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she don't want that after you just finish rubbing it all over your crotch. <laughs> Especially after she's seen how small it is. Well, according to her, I'm just going off what she said, guys. Don't come after me. Yes. Actually, that in fact, that literally just happened. We just watched it. Yeah, you got you got a little too much confidence, homie. Mm, so he fights with his blood, huh? Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Those guards went down like nothing. So far, <laughs> apparently the only guards are good at tackling small girls from behind because I haven't seen them do anything useful. They've all died and been killed with one shot immediately. <laughs> so um, I think it's it might be time to train some better soldiers here to guard this peaceful town because they suck. Oh, wow. He said, how are words any different from swords? No matter what we use, weak people die. Swords are words. It still kills the weak. And that's that like people, man, that's a that's a quote right there. That is a quote. Yeah, 
その場に残されたのは魔法で首を切られた衛兵と魔法使いの私だけ Yeah, that's a, that's a logical conclusion to come to. It's just like his body vanishes, blood and all. Like there's no blood, there's no body, no nothing, no clothes, everything just completely disintegrates. So we got a mage who was killed by magic. I mean, a, a guard who was killed by magic and a mage. Let's put two and two together, shall we? <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, obviously, these are foes that they're unfamiliar with. And also, too, like, they probably kind of look at them as humans, and killing something that looks human probably feels bad for them. But I got a feeling this is like the dragon situation where they just, when presented with a force that appears to be stronger than them, they automatically doubt themselves because they don't have combat experience. But I feel like both of them are way beyond what normal adventurers would be at their level. They both were trained by heroes. You know what I mean? So it's just like, they could probably do it. And it probably wouldn't take much effort if they implemented an intent to kill. You know what I mean? But I don't think either one of them really has that. She like those kids. I'm sure they'll handle it. Freerun really believes in them, and I don't think Freerun would allow anything bad to happen to them. I don't think she would put them in a situation where they would die. Like if Freerun was truly convinced that they absolutely could not do it, she would just do it herself. But they need this experience as adventurers, I think. And she's like, look, I could go kill them easily. No problem. But, you know, we're heroes. We do hero stuff. And I'm not going to let them, you know, cower out of this situation and just rely on me to handle everything all the time. So, yeah, I, I like, man, I want to see them actually fight some demons. So they're laying in wait outside of town, waiting for that barrier to come down. And Free Ren's just like... Yeah, I really, but here's the thing. I'm a little confused though, because like she said she don't like fighting strong enemies, but boy, does she look excited to get this over with quickly. Oh man, I, I want a big epic, big epic fantasy battle, man. Give me something good. I want to see free run just wipe out an entire army like freaking slime Sama. <laughs> Did he really forget she could fly? I know you were trying to look cool for her, but A, no. And B, <laughs> she can fly, bro. Wow, so that barrier's been up that long? That means that barrier's been up for a thousand years at least. That's nuts. But I genuinely do not understand why he thinks that he would give him this information. There is no incentive at all for him to provide him this information literally none what can what do you have for leverage if he gives it to you he dies and if he doesn't he dies but at least if he doesn't you like you guys are already in here but no other demons can get in here he also knows that free Ren is here and she's insurance so like you have like there's no reason you might as well just kill him there's no, there's no way he's going to tell you. <laughs> Evacuating? You mean taking the 
currently safe civilians that are inside of a barrier, outside of the barrier, which is exactly what the demons want in the first place. Well, how is that going to help again? Man, I love, I love seeing him jump into battle while trembling. You know what I mean? Like, despite the fear, I love watching him, you know, his growth as a character actually show some results now. Because he's terrified. He's horrified to fight them. But he's like, you know what? This is what I got to do. This is what I'm about to do. And it pisses him off that he's not looking at him, that he doesn't even look at him as a threat. It makes him angry. And I think that anger is, you know, overpowering the fear. Take him out, man. Get him. Woo! Yeah! Bro! I love it. I love it. Yes, I did not think we were going to get anything like this in this show, and this is getting me very excited right now. <laughs> oh, man, this is what this show needed. Definitely. This is the problem when it comes to creatures and beings that live for a really long time. Time does not affect them the same way. It has been so long since that spell was at the power level that you remember. It's way stronger now. You have a base level mage right now. They learned that in elementary school. That's one of the first spells they learned, bro. It's way stronger now. It ain't even like it's it's her weakest offensive spell. That's that's the crazy part about it, man. I love the way the world, the lore of this world, the established lore actually has real, actual, tangible consequences and things that matter. And it 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 makes this show so such a joy to watch. <laughs> Mm. I see. I don't know if that was a good call. They had them. They were in the position to kill them. They, she could have absolutely just finished them off before they left. I think that was a little more important, honestly. But the episode would have ended then. So we gotta have more episodes. So they have to retreat. Oh, Freeran has dealt with him before. Why did I, man, why did I know that they had history? But Freeran probably doesn't even, because, like, as you can see, that battlefield was littered with dead demons. So it's not like she took time to remember the face of one of them. You know what I mean? So it makes sense that Freeran doesn't remember him, but it does not make sense that he doesn't remember Freeran. Like, the fact that he's just now getting an epiphany about her is kind of strange considering what happened. One of the geniuses I despise, dude. I absolutely love the fact that Freerun is a boogeyman in the demon world. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be. You never get that perspective in a lot of uh, fantasy stuff or anime or video games and stuff like that, where from the villain's perspective, and that's that's not true. You don't, It's not that you never get that perspective. It's just you hardly do. From their perspective, you're a monster. You know what I mean? Like, you go into a dungeon and kill a bunch of zombies it's like, or a bunch of goblins or something. It's like, oh, look at all the XP you got. Good job. You level up and you're, you're saving the world from goblins. And then from their perspective you just ran into their home and decimated their families you know it's just like whispers about you throughout the demon world it's just like yeah dude stay away from her she will kill you and everyone you know <laughs> oh man that was such a good episode i hope it continues we need more of this i still like the slice of life kind of chilling out 
happy-go-lucky, free run, you know, doing her thing and on her adventure, but I need a lot more of this. This is really good to kind of break that up a bit and give us a, something else. So I'm enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.